uh, being out with friends, community, and nature. Going out in nature, looking at trees, measuring the trees, seeing how big these massive trees are that you don't really see on everyday life, and having a great time with the staff members and my uh, fellow peers every day is just a wonderful time. Even just sitting in the lounge for great conversations, going out every day is an amazing time with everybody. Amazing how we learn this stuff because you don't really think about it in everyday life and they're like, well, trees? But really it's an amazing history and what, how we got trees and how it evolved over time and not just keep cutting them down. Because we don't, then we lose our nature, our ecosystem. And that's not a good thing at all. Oh my gosh. So we did canoeing. We did a night hike, which was really fun. Um, we have been measuring trees and doing tree assessments. We've also done identification of trees. We did archery. We had to hike around the peninsula over at Star Lake, which was incredible. It was a good hike. But I have been learning about my students in a better way. So it's been really fun to get to be one-on-one -on -one with them in different places and in different things and figuring out what they like and what they're really enjoying and getting those little moments that you don't normally get in a classroom or that I would never get in a classroom. So we've been doing fun activities and learning about nature. It's good to know like when you're looking at a tree and you can like profile it, that's very useful. Um, because some have like sap on it that was flammable. So in nature, it would be pretty nice to start fire with that. It's just been interesting to me to, for students to see the staff as part of what they're doing also, that we are learning as we go. And with the archery, we've never shot a bow before. Mm -hmm. My son does it, but I've never done it. Um, and for students to see us do those things and for us to learn and to be really interested in a lot of things that are going on, like the hike we took today and just learning from Todd who took us and all the things that he taught us on the hike that we were doing today. So lots of different things and lots of different learning that happened. So today, I'm stealing this from Fun anyone. Fun fact, this is Fun the best fact. thing ever. We were walking on the trail and we learned a lot about woodpeckers mm -hmm. and just seeing the holes that they've made and the sap that they, the holes that they've made for the sap and learning the idea that as soon as they start to do that, then the butterflies are not far behind them. But we also learned that woodpeckers wrap their tongues around their brain because they bang their heads on the trees. So they cushion their brain so that they don't get concussed every single time that they pound on the trees. And we, I don't know, I just thought that was fascinating yeah. <laughs> that they do that and then showed us how long their tongues were so that they can actually do that and wrap it around their brain. So talk about learning things that you wouldn't, wouldn't learn in a classroom. Yeah. Um, that's fantastic. Because we're from a public charter school and our motto is learning by doing. And I think this, um, this setting, this environment is just the most amazing, perfect place for a group of kiddos and staff like this um, because we are learning by doing all the things here. So I just, it's, it's great. I love it. So we started off with the night hike, um, which was really cool, really fun. It's always interesting to get in touch with your senses and to do all the activities, um, you know, and everyone's being quiet. It's cool to listen to what the woods sound like. Um, so we went canoeing. Uh, I'm getting better at that. Um, I was learning about, I feel like someone already said the thing about the woodpeckers and the different, uh, I not the brain, not the tongue brain one, um, but I learned that woodpeckers, um, make different size holes. I didn't really know that. I mean, it makes sense, but I never really thought about it before. And For me, I would think the creativeness, because you see these trees and see this nature and see all these beautiful sceneries that you never see. Just taking one picture on a lake with a tree is a creative thing to do. You can paint it, you can sculpt it, just looking at it and figuring out different ways that you can do with nature is an amazing thing in everyday life. Unexpected. Um, I think I came into the trip because I've never come. This is my first time. Um, and none of us, the staff that are here, we've never been to trees before. So this is a brand new experience for us. So I learned a lot along the planning process and I'm getting here. But I think that I came in with certain expectations of how things were going to go and how it was going to be. And it's completely different in like a great way. Like I, even though I knew it was going to be amazing, I don't think I expected it to be so amazing. I don't think I had that expectation, but it's been transformative. I think that's another word. Interesting. I think it's very different and 
yeah, interesting being here, especially when you live in like downtown Green Bay. There's not a lot of like foliage and trees around. And yeah, it's just nice to get away. I would say discovery. That's a good one. I would say impactful. I would say discovery just for the fact that that's what you're doing. That, that's why you're here, is to not only um, continue to share what you already know, but to discover new information, to discover new things, and to discover a new learning. Um, go back to the theme of ours of learn by doing. That's what you're doing, you're discovering um, new adventures and just everything that we've, we've talked about with you. Yeah, and I, I think the impact, not only like educationally, um, but individually, so all these students are, I think they're finding out more about themselves, maybe, um, more about each other, and more about us as staff, and as Jenna said before in her interview, we are then learning more about them that we probably wouldn't learn in the school setting, so. I don't know, I liked Impactful. I mean, it's been... Uh, but it's definitely changed my outlook on certain things and I had a lot of preconceptions about logging and sustainability and things like that and it was really interesting to learn about logging and how logging can be done sustainably and, and how it is done sustainably and um, it's you know other things like that it's it's changed my perspective on a lot um, I think in, in beneficial ways and good ways and that's been you know impactful and important for me. It's very important now today's society with COVID and everything, we all be on our phones, glued to our screens every, every day. And we kind of forget the world around us. And that's a bad thing, because if you forget the world around you, you kind of just lose sight of everything, what's really, really important. Going outside is super important for your mental health and physical health. Going out just for trees, just for a couple of days, has been an amazing experience. Seeing the sun, seeing the trees, smelling the nature is amazing. And people being inside all day on their computers is really not healthy at all. I mean, yeah, you can do virtual reality, but that doesn't do anything for you. But going outside, physically touching these trees, doing the measurements and learning about them is an amazing thing for future generations and for people in the Green Bay District. Nice. Because we don't have like a reserve in Green Bay like this to use. A lot of our kids are so locked into our little area and yeah, you can go down to the river and you can, you know, walk around town and it's like a quick walk, but there's no real like nature that you can go out into like this, um, in this way I should say, um, that's close enough that kids can go to regularly. Um, so I think it's really important because that's how they're going to learn new experiences and take things on in their life and who knows like what career one of these kids could have that they could have discovered they wanted to do while here, you know, that you would have, you would have never guessed. Food. <laughs> so good. It's good every time I'm here. Uh, it's always amazing. Um, they are great with dietary restrictions um, anymore, but they were super accommodating. Um, and that's true. I mean, I think across the board, everyone's really accommodating and, and, and nice here. It's, it's, you know, always great. Um, it's a great education. It's a lot of fun. Um, you enjoy hiking. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta enjoy the hiking part. Then you can take the hiking. You can have fun because there's so much learning that can happen outside of the classroom. And there's so much that I, just learning from your students, learning what they already know, learning um, what you yourself may not know, um, and teaching that and coming back and being able to share that um, in a classroom setting. But I just really think that the classroom's great, four walls are great, but it's really what happens outside those four walls that you learn the most from. And it's really fun. <laughs> I, I don't know about my students, but I'm having a great time. I think they are too. Um, but it's it's just uh, it's a great time. It's awesome. Thank you for sponsoring us. Thank you. <laughs>